Hello there everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you another Star Wars Galaxies emulator episode. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the distance of your maximum zoom. Uh, this was actually coming as a request from one of my Twitch viewers, uh, which have talked me into getting a green screen set up, as you guys can see in the background. It looks like I blend perfectly into my surroundings now. No more clutter and what have you behind me. Um, but yeah, so adjusting the distance of your maximum zoom, which is actually even further when you're on a vehicle. Let me see if I dismount, it zooms in, but zoom out even further on the swoop. So you get these nice aerial photography shots if you want. Um, the thing is, like, uh, this isn't a perfect example here, but you do run into a, a couple of issues with the maximum zoom increased, um, but I'll go over those at the end. So, how do you change your maximum zoom? Well, it's not actually a setting in the game. You need to actually close your game in order to adjust that. So let's do that now. Okay, so now that you're out of the game, you're going to want to open up your file explorer, and you're going to want to navigate to your Star Wars Galaxies directory, wherever you have the Galaxies client installed. For me, that's my C drive, Program Files 86, Star Wars Galaxies. Once you're here, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and see if you have a user.cfg file. You may not have this file. I did not have this file when I first attempted this. I had to create the file uh, fresh. So all you have to do to do that uh, is open up a program like Notepad, uh, which is just your basic text editor. And all you have to do is add these two lines. Bracket, I'll put these, I'll put this in the video description so you can copy paste, but it's in brackets, client game, uh, K, it's, this is all case sensitive by the way, so capital C, capital G, client game, one word, new line, free, capital C, chase, capital C, camera, capital M, maximum, capital Z, zoom, equals, and the number. Right now, I have this number set to 6. I think 6 is fair. I'm going to show you what happens when you change, when you, if you make this number too big. Um, I don't actually know what the default zoom level is because, like I said, I didn't have a user.cfg file. I'm going to guess it's like maybe 3, 2 or 3. I don't know. Um, maybe it's 1. I, I honestly don't know. I prefer 6. Now, you can do some crazy things like, let's put in 100 and see what happens. Um, I'm going to save this file. So you just want to save it and make sure it's in your base Star Wars Galaxies directory. But there is one other thing you'll need to do. You'll need to find your swgemu.cfg file. Now, you should have this one already. Open this up. And this last line here, dot include, in quotes, user.cfg, probably has, whoops, a pound sign or a hashtag in front of it. This is a comment mark. What you want to do is delete that. You want to make sure that none of these lines have that icon in front of it. Otherwise, it won't, your game will not read those files. So once you delete that, uh, or if it's if it's already gone, you're you're good. You don't need to make any changes. But you want to make sure that your your uh, this line dot include user dot cfg looks just like this. Don't change anything else in here. Save this. Close it. Now we open Galaxies again. All right. So now that Galaxies is loading, let me tell you why raising that zoom level to such a ridiculously high number is actually a bad thing. So while you are able to adjust your maximum zoom level in galaxies, what you're not able to manually adjust is the increment in which the camera zooms. So basically when you set your zoom level, the game client will automatically divide that range into 15 segments. And when you scroll your mouse wheel in or out, or press your, you know, zoom in, zoom out key, whatever, however you do it, your client will always zoom one increment per, you know, input. 
So if your input, if your uh, zoom range is ridiculously far, the distance between going into first person mode like this, and the and one increment of the zoom, can be pretty large. So right now, with my maximum zoom level set to 100, this is as close as I can make my camera to my character without going into first person view. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I like to see my character up close from time to time without having to go straight into first person. But on the other hand, since we set the max zoom to 100, if I zoom out, yeah, we can see the traffic flying in <laughs> over to Feed City from here. Uh, you can you can zoom pretty far out. Um, it's it's pretty neat. So, it's fun to kind of play around with this, but it's not really practical. I mean, you can't really play like this. It's almost like if you were to turn Galaxies into a real-time strategy game. Uh, but, oh, and that's not even on a vehicle. Let's put, let's put our swoops out. Yeah. Look at that. There you go. Can't see anything at all. We're completely blocked out by the fog so so it doesn't it doesn't make sense to be able to zoom that far out and then you know your minimum zoom level is this it's either this or first person uh, I I would not be able to play like that I mean you can you can get some pretty cool things like if you have a lot of flat land like you could get like <laughs> look at all this the traffic freaking out. I don't know. Uh, but now you know how to do it. So yeah, so like I said, I use 6. Let me let me restart my client and change this back to the way I like it because I can't stand it like this. So, I choose to use the maximum zoom level of 6 because I feel like that at least gives you... You can still zoom out pretty far, but it still gives you some good ranges up close to, to still be able to enjoy galaxies the way you would be able to normally. So, I mean, look. So that is my minimum zoom distance at level 6. And then, as you saw before, my maximum zoom on foot is this far and on the swoop is this far so you you still get a really good zoom level um, but you can you can still get up close and personal with your tune when you want to which is nice um, at least I think so but yeah that's really all there is to it you can go ahead and edit that file as many times as you want you do need to restart your galaxies client every time you make a change to that file though um, because it will not it won't automatically update if your game is open so it could take some time to get it exactly where you want it. I would suggest starting at six and maybe like go up or down two or three points at a time from there to try and find a zoom level that you really like. But it's as easy as editing a text file. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out a little or was at least entertaining. Have fun with it and I'll see you guys next time.